Um, apparently, can we go up? Can we go up? Can we go up? No. All right. Hey guys, I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program 2, part 3 of the Space Station Saga that we have been doing. Today, we are going to be sending a shuttle up to dock with the space station and deliver some crew as we get ready to then head all the way to Minmus and hopefully beyond. So let's go to the VAB. I've already been trying to construct a wonderful uh, little shuttle here that has just enough Delta V to really work well for us, plus some RCS control, although I am thinking of changing it around just a little bit. The reason why is because this particular cargo container, it's just not needed as much, considering I can go ahead and add more fuel to this instead, which I really want to do. So we'll do that. That'll give us a total Delta V of 2600, which is fantastic for this particular ship. Now let's go ahead and get these solar panels online. Let's pop those there. Two sets of these solar panels, top and bottom. We want to make sure that we keep this uh, hatch uh, uncovered so that the Kerbal can get out if needed. I think I'm also going to add on some wings because I think that would just look super, super cool. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make the wingspan a bit shorter. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and scoot that in one. And there we go. I, I, I really think I like it. Next thing we need to do is add a hatch to it. So let's go ahead and get a hatch. We'll also pull it out away from the cockpit a little bit more. There we go. So that's how it's going to attach to the space station, which is perfectly fine. Now, I do need some RCS control or some RCS tanks. Now, if I go ahead and click this, I can then go to align locally, and that will allow us to nudge it on the local plane of the actual object and not using the global plane. That way I can line it up much more accurately. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I do like that dark look, but I, you know, I kind of like the silver look as well. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. You can kind of see the fine details. I'm also thinking just for some fun, adding on some lights. So we do have these lights here. Uh, and so if we install lights like this, and like this perfect and then we'll go ahead and we will light enable and advanced controls will say it can blink and the blink period is just like that perfect white is perfectly fine for now let's go like that light enable advanced controls perfect blink enabled oh perfect i like it so you can always kind of see where it is we can always turn the lights off of course if we need to I was hoping it'd have enough thrust to get off from the Kerbin atmosphere, yeah, but it doesn't because there's not enough weight. Now it says thrust to weight ratio is below. It is missing RCS controls. So we are gonna wanna go ahead and add some of these on here as well. Now we'll go ahead and remove these because those were just an experiment anyways. They worked well, but they're so low Delta V. We're gonna need something a little bit better. Now, this one has a max thrust of 215. Will that get us off that will? That's so much better. Uh, but it's also so much taller. I really like the idea of having maybe two of these. So I suppose... All right, so I did put them super close together. But that should get enough thrust to weight. Uh, it doesn't say it has enough thrust to weight, but uh, we're going to still try it. Now, just for kicks and giggles, we are going to want an extra communication satellite, and this is going to be a one-off, so we'll rotate that. Might put it right there. Let's go ahead and check the angle. We'll extend it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Now, the last thing we are missing is some power. I even put some on the side here. I think that's a good call. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. I think that's going to be the way I want to go, but it just looks so yucky. <laughs> uh, well, that's not too bad, though. Let's go ahead and close those up. All right, so the un uh, unfortunate truth is the only way to get a, uh, weight, a thrust weight ratio that is higher than the Kerbin atmosphere 
is literally by uh, adding in this bigger booster, which is unfortunate because it's a really big booster. Um, as well, we are going to go ahead and add some legs. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. I think I'm going to have to do legs like this. Let's go ahead and extend those. Oh, that's just enough, because I'm thinking of landing it like this whenever we need to land on a planet's surface. Let's go ahead, get rid of that. Let's scoot this down here. Yes, I would say that that looks pretty good. Perfect. Let's go ahead to the launch pad again. Let's see how these things hold. Do they hold the booster off the ground? Yes, they do. All right, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and give it a launch. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Actually, turn on the lights. Let's pull up the landing gears. Oh, fantastic, guys. I love it. Let's try to actually fly this like a plane. Let's see how it does. I don't think it's going to do very well. Yeah, no, it's not going to do well at all. <laughs> it's not going to do well at all. The last thing we're going to put on here are stabilizers. Mini stabilizers, sure. But still stabilizers nonetheless. Uh, that might keep it going straight forward at least, I hope. Let's go ahead and put those maybe on the ends. We'll get a little bit of speed. We'll get probably 100 meters a second. Then let's try to go ahead and angle it a little bit. There we go. Hopefully it won't fall. Hey, look at that. We're stable. Let's try to turn a corner here. Let's see how it does. Well, we know we can turn a corner. Um, will it, uh, will it actually make it work properly? I mean, this is actually quite a bit more stable than I thought it would be, uh, which is pretty cool. It's, guys, this is working. You know what? I should put some landing gear on this just so that we can land this direction as well. Um, wow, this is actually working quite a bit better than I thought it would. Fantastic. Look at that. All right, and this is what we've got. We're using the big heavy one I used for the big giant ball hydrogen fuel tank. Uh, but we're going to launch up that shuttle. Whoa. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and boost. Let us get off the ground. This should get us all the way to the space station, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, but we're going to we're going to try it. We're going to see how we do. We do have both Bob and Jeb. They are going to be coming along with the space station mission. Uh, this is going to be the first shuttle up. I don't think I'll take a second shuttle up, but we'll see. We are getting a lot of interference from that shuttle, I think. We are trying our best to keep it on. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Uh, can we... Uh, no, we cannot stop this, unfortunately. We are going straight up as best we can. Uh, hopefully, as we get into the outer atmosphere, we'll be able to control it a bit better. Let's go ahead and uh, detach. Let's get out of the influence of those boosters. We sure did. Uh, and now we are definitely on our way. Uh, let's go ahead and see our apoapsis is perfect. Let's go out to our map here. Uh, where's our space station? Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get a circularization going. So we're going to want to pull this out just like so. All right, pretty much just like that. That should be mostly good. Uh, and that'll give us on a uh, kind of a trajectory that'll help with the space station catching up to us. So let's go ahead and let us get ourselves angled properly. Let's get RCS control that way we can get ourselves lined up proper. And go. There we go. This should get us to approximate apoapsis of, I, I don't know, probably roughly 200,000 meters, uh, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and burn this for a while. Let's see how it does. Thankfully, we have plenty of fuel. Guys, I really am hoping, my goal, is that we can somehow attach this booster to the actual space station using this docking port right here. We aren't going to separate. That way, we can actually use some of this fuel to fill up the space station with the needed extra fuel. Hopefully, we'll have enough, but we'll see. We are in orbit. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's cut our burn. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and check. 
Oh yes, that was absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and set our target. We are at quite a substantial degree rotation. So let's go ahead, let's grab that and let us try and adjust this. Let's go ahead and get to our desired target and then we'll warp all the way over and we'll do our angle burn so that we're at a zero degree inclination. Uh, our descending node will be zero and our ascending node will also be zero once we do that. All right, we are at a zero degree uh, inclination, so that is perfect. We are nice and lined up. Let's do one more thing. We are gonna slow down so that we can get an encounter really nearby, because I, I think we're gonna need to. So we're gonna turn all the way around. Now let's go ahead and do a slow burn just to watch our periapsis kind of line up. We want to be very close to the space station, hopefully right about there. Perfect. All right. So where is our encountering at? We will be at 249,000 meters. Uh, if I went ahead and we're already on retrograde, I guess let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. So we're going to watch it. Unfortunately, I think that space station is going to catch up a lot. It's actually going to pull in front of us. So I think what I'm going to want to do right now, if we burn retrograde, then we'll be able to actually speed up on the in curve. That'll actually possibly get us to have a better connection. So let's go ahead and try that. All right. So that's as good as we're going to get, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we've got a really good one over here. 18,000 meters. Um, that's a really good one. Actually, that's a, a really good one. We're going to go ahead and burn to slow down. Then we're going to head directly toward our target. And hopefully that'll help us. That might get us a good angle. We're going to go ahead and limit this booster thruster limit to 19%. That just limits the full speed, even at full throttle, it's not going to burn that heavy. Uh, we just don't want it to. We, we don't want it to burn heavy at all. So I finally found the hotkeys for slowing down with RCS only without having to spin around. And it's H and N. So if I hold my N key, it's going to actually try to go in reverse. Whereas if I hold my H key, it's going to try to go forward. Um, so it's good to know because that way I can slow down as we're coming in slowly to the station. I can slow down without having too many issues. Now we are going to have a lot of issues trying to actually dock while we have this big giant rocket. Um, I might end up wanting to just kind of rotate around until we, until we get to the sunny side that might help us with being able to see better. Uh, but for now. Let's go ahead and let's just continue this maneuver here. We're going at two meters per second. All right, after quick saving, we are going to go ahead and we are going to just time warp over to here just because I want to have that sun visible. Let's go ahead and see it better. Oh, excellent. And we are really close. Let's go ahead and switch to the space station for a sec. There it is. There is our whole space station and it is looking as pretty as ever. Now, the only problem is I'm going to have to dock my small dock with this particular dock right here. That's going to be difficult. Let's go ahead and turn on RCS and SAS. Let's get this thing to be stable. Okay, so it's looking at these controls. I can translate J and L is for the X axis and Y uh, axis is I and K. We are slowly but surely making our way there. I've had to learn how to use all the RCS controls on my own. Uh, and I had to test them out. You have to get quite a position, uh, but we are slowly creeping in. We are doing our rotating maneuver right now. Uh, guys, we are so close. I mean, like, so close. Uh, this is super fun. This is, like, the coolest I have ever, I have ever experienced. I didn't even do this on KSP-1 that much. We're going to go ahead and switch to the station and we're gonna try to rotate if we can. Oh, we're guys, we're so close, but our mono propellant is just so bad right now. <laughs> All right, here we go, we're backing up. We've got to touch. 
We've got to touch. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And yes, we did it. Oh, we did it. We did it. All right. RCS, SAS. Guys, we did it. We completely docked two systems together. Okay. Let's go ahead and start transferring. I, I think that's going to gonna need to happen very soon uh so we want to do methane no methylox there we go methylox okay good uh and we want out to in let's go ahead and start that one. Oh, awesome and let's go ahead and do this guy we want out to in let's start that one Oh, perfect, guys. We did it. Look at that. And there's a little bit left. Oh, fantastic. We filled up a space station. We've docked. Guys, there it is. That is the whole moment right there. And it is the most, I can't tell you what a smile I have on my face right now. What an absolute fun time. This game is still just as phenomenal as KSP1 ever was. Uh, it just has some quirks to it. Uh, I, I'd love to be able to change camera angles. Hopefully we can do that in a future update. Uh, right now we only have 191 Delta V. I hope that's enough to get this thing where it needs to go. Um, but, uh, there it is. There it is. Let's go ahead and quick save because I'm, I'm very concerned. Uh, let's go ahead and let us decouple, uh, right here. Here we go right here. And now let us get this booster detached. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I was very concerned with that. And uh, that's exactly what happened is the whole entire thing just crashed. So let's go ahead and reload. We're going to just try to decouple one more time. We're, we're just going to, you know, completely just decouple. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Um, I should be able to decouple. Like, <laughs> I, I really should. All right, decouple. Come on, don't destroy everything. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, vessel destroyed. Unfortunately, guys, um, I'm not quite sure what to do now. I mean, we... Okay, so hold on a second. Future Lucamundo here. So I tried this over and over and over, and I could not get it to work. It kept on breaking. Then I tried it off camera. And I finally figured out that if I undocked my spaceship from the station, then I decoupled the booster and went back to the tracking station and went back to the station, everything was perfectly normal. So off camera, everything did work. So even though this video is going to end, I did end up figuring it out and in the next video we'll probably see it as well as what's coming up next. Let's go ahead and decouple. Let's see if the decoupling works. Guys, it does not work. Uh, so there it is. Unfortunately, the decoupling just does not work once you've docked. It, there's some sort of a wacky problem with it. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it fixed for the next one. But guys, there it is. I docked to the space station. Unfortunately, we did not get to go to Minmus because of that docking procedure. Um, which is a bummer. I will try to figure it out for the next episode, but that will be it for this one. Thank you so much for joining me and so much for joining the adventure of trying to dock to a space station on KSP2. It is possible, and it was completed. Uh, we will just have to wait and see if we can get that fixed for next time. Thank you for joining me, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya!